Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate um, how you use the Rode Wireless Go um, on its own and with a lapel mic and just which cables and adapters and things that you need. So first thing to do is to turn them on with the little switch at the bottom. And they should light up. The one with the blue lights, that is your transmitter. It has a little inbuilt microphone in it as well. And that is what you're actually uh, capturing the sound in and then it's radioing it to the receiver which has a, a little green line that's showing the level of the sound and that is what um, you attach to your camera or your phone. If you're using it on its own just with the internal mic you can just attach it to yourself somewhere the same way as you would look with the lapel mic but the only problem with that is any wind noise could be really difficult. So it does come with little clip-on windshields, but I found that they don't stay on very well at all. So if you're going to use it just with the internal mic, you're going to have to tape the windshield on in some way with gaffer tape, because there's no way that is going to stay on in the field. So do give that some consideration. Otherwise, you can attach your lapel mic to it which bypasses the internal mic and then means you're picking up your sound on the lapel mic. So that's where you would then put this away in your pocket somewhere out of sight and feed the cable up through whatever you're wearing or on your jacket and clip it on. You could try and hide it a little bit or have it visible, it doesn't really matter. You want to attach the receiver to your camera or your phone if you're using a camera, you want to use the cable that is inside the box that came with it. So it's a red cable with two black ends, and that is what you would attach to your camera. And if you are using your phone, you've got an additional cable that came separately from the Rode Wireless Go. It's a separate cable called a SC7 TRS to TRRS patch cable, lots of jargon. Uh, so in that case, you want to attach the black end to the road box and the gray end, which has three little lines rather than just two, you want to attach that to your phone. And in my case, I have an iPhone, so I actually need an adapter. So I need to then attach the adapter to the gray end and then stick that in my phone. But if you're using an Android phone or an older iPhone, you can just stick the mini jack straight into your phone. And then I'm going to clip that onto my phone and it should be out of the way enough that I can see the levels. So you want, with the level, you want it to be in the green midway up the bar. You don't want it to be peaking going into yellow or red. So the way you adjust the level is with the DB button. So you press the DB button and there's three levels inbuilt onto this. So the higher it goes, the more sensitive it is picking up the sound. I recommend you start at the bottom. So don't put it right up to the top. Leave it as low as possible because I think that will be loud enough for you. You don't want it to be peaking into yellow and red at all. You want to keep it in the green. Okay, so I think that's you set up. You've got your lapel mic and your transmitter in your pocket, that's all on. And then you've got it sending the signal, the sound to your phone. So you should be ready to shoot now.